Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen how to create AI chatbot using Llama Index and Chroma DB. So in today's video, I am going to provide the interface. In the previous video, we have created the OK kind of thing, means uh, command line inter uh, command line inter input as well as command line output. That's OK, but it would be more OK if we provide the web interface. Okay, so I'm not saying you should learn a Django or Flask. I'm saying you. Uh, I'm saying we can provide the web interface by the use of Streamlit library. Library, you can say library. It's a module, it's package, it's platform, or framework. I don't know what to what to say, but it's very beautiful. You will love it. So let's use it. So in the previous video, we have seen this code. Okay, so. I'm not taking your time. I'm just going pasting the code we I have created just in two hours. So let me go paste the code. So I will show you what we have done. So let me save it. Uh, chat one in the code uh, app one dot py. Okay. So first of all, import the necessary modules. So I am writing over here. You will get this code in my GitHub account. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed my channel, YouTube channel, please subscribe it right now. Please press the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So this one means OpenAI Streamlit. So this means Streamlit. So let's see how to install it. So I forget to say how to install it. Installation is very easy. Just use pip install stream streamlit. So very heavy installation. Uh, done. Completed. Okay, so we have installed this streamlet. So very easy. So these are key. In the previous video, we have seen key contain my OpenAI key. Okay. Done. So next is to set the title page. To set the title of the page. So this is the title. So this is the page title. Okay, page title and this is a page icon, sparks, sparkless. And this one is a markdown means uh, it, this one is a headline, you can say headline of my page. Okay, so on save, so this is, let me, yes. Okay, so next is get, set the open AI key. So this one set our open AI key. Next is session creation or, and creation of a, uh, user session and other things so let me set the role and role of user and chatbot okay so this one is generated message past history and right uh, current message okay done next is container create the response container okay so response container this is a container okay text box so in this way we can create the text box so let me show you. Okay, what is this one? This one I will tell you later. Okay, so I will tell you later what is the meaning of this one. Okay, what is this? This one is the right now. What I, what we are sending the message? Okay, current message. So I want to. Uh, this one is a current message. Means submit button, user message, user uh, gives the message, submit button done. And if you want to store the uh, previous messages, all the history of previous messages and current messages, you can paste it. So this will create, this will store our the previous message it means it will show our previous messages. Okay. And this one will create our current messages. Okay. So I hope you get a sense because it's not a good idea to, uh, uh, if I will tell you what is the meaning of this one, what is the meaning of this one? I hope you are at the stage. If you are learning this thing right now, it means you are, you know a little bit things about the web. What's the meaning of user input here? We are giving the user input. This is a submit button. This one is a uh, old history. So here we are uh, showing the old history. Yeah, key is changing every time. So please check this one. Key is changing every time with some new variables. I I is continuously increasing. I I one I two. Okay. So I hope you get in a sense. So yeah, this one, what is the meaning of this one? Generate response from second one. So in the second one, we haven't uh, done anything yet. Okay, and done. we haven't done anything yet. So let's see. 
let's see the app again for generate responses I have generated the responses over here you can see generate responses so this one is this one output output is generate responses okay generate responses so let me create this kind of function in the second file okay so because second file is responsible to give the response and that response will be captured over here in the output okay so let's uh, made some make some amendments here so okay so here not here here yeah i am creating a function so give prompt okay engine ask the question so this one is not needed whatever the question asked by the user so put over here because in the app one we uses the generator board that's a yeah that's a user input okay so user input will be captured over here yes put here and prompt equal to question so question response print no need to use print over here let me give some identification and uh, response return response s t e r r -E response done okay i am not printing anything yet big anything okay so i have created it done so now it's time to run it in order to run the streamlit application use s t r e m streamlit uh, run application name app one to be done so it is giving me the ip ip so actually i am using wireless and the wired network so if you want to run the application so if you copy this ip if you copy this ip and put in the url okay so like i have given the url so you will get the output you will get the interface here but right now i am not using i am using the uh, i am using my wi-fi okay so i am using my wi-fi that's why it is giving the very slow response over the wi-fi instead of wi-fi if i use my lan address lan address that will give the that will give good response but right now because my my this linux machine and my computer this my window computer not in the same wi-fi that's why it is not giving the output so let me change the my so okay let me change the, my lan ip so i know this is my lan ip so now it's working so now i can see because this one this one is my windows uh, linux machine okay and this one is my window this one this one is my linux machine and this one is my windows machine so i'm working on two systems simultaneously but both are connected via the, via the lan okay wi-fi is different but lan is same so that's why i'm getting the response over here so let me uh, Oh, some error over here in the line one app uh, line one let me check what's the error line one open ai done oh this identification problem so little bit problem done okay so let's uh, stop it and run it again Streamlit chat import message line number three. So let's install this one also. Streamlit chat. I think this is also a module. Streamlit chat. Control C, clear screen, pip install. done okay so let's run it so this time i hope oh run finally mohit's chatbot so let's see simple hi hello after getting error we have completed it so let me uh, write the same question who has worked in the Tata 
सर्विसेस टाटा कंसिस्टेंसी टाटा सर्विसेस टाटा सर्विस एबीसी कुमार हैज वर्क इन द टाटा सर्विसेस सो यू कैन सी इट इज गिविंग मी द रिप्लाई फ्रॉम माय नॉलेज बेस एंड दिस रिप्लाई हेलो दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द ग्लोबल डाटा ग्लोबल बेस मींस फ्रॉम द जीपीटी डाटा बेस सो आई होप यू गेटिंग अ सेंस हाउ टू यूज द वेब इंटरफेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्ट्रीमलेट so guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe it bye bye everyone bye bye